Right, so here we are. This is a, a short video regarding the Internet Weather Systems wind speed and direction switch. And uh, this is just to show uh, quickly what you get with the system and also uh, an, a brief explanation of its operation. So, um, to start off, we'll just quickly run through the, the components which make up the system. So, here is the, the control box which does the switching. That also comes with an instrument basic wind sensor which comes with a stainless steel U-bolt capable of mounting on a, a two inch pole, an alignment compass and obviously a little cover with a nylon screw there to cover the, the thermal block. Also enclosed is 25 meters of cable as standard for the system that can be extended up to 100 meters if required. And then obviously you get a uh, an instruction leaflet as well. Okay, so here's the the control box. Um, we'll run through the the connections first. So what, what you've got there, you've got a, a 24 volt AC input and a 12 volt DC input. You've then got next to that is the the switching terminals for the switch. Uh, it's rated rated on their five amp contact, but the the terminals themselves are rated to ten and the relay itself to 16 so although it says five it will go a little more if if required to um, you've then got a terminal there for normally closed for the contact and normally open so that being the case the the unit can be used to either activate or deactivate a unit and then next to that is the the connections for the wind sensor so you see there red is the, the five volt power supply black is the ground blue is the signal coming in from the center for the wind speed and the yellow is the the wind direction signal input then at the the back of the pcb we have the the selection switches there for the wind direction plus they're, they're indicating lights showing you which direction is active at the moment in the middle there is the the wind speed selection potentiometer as you see that ranges from 0 to 90 miles per hour. Then at the back we have an on delay to prevent the, the unit from activating from short gusts of wind and then an off timer to make sure the, the unit stays on for as long as required. So just for example if I now gently rotate the wind sensor you'll see the, the lighting will hopefully change. For each wind direction, there we go. Now on south, southeast, there's south, southwest, west, northwest, north, and then obviously lastly, north, northeast, and east. Also on the back of the PCB, there you see there's a power on light. So with the, the unit now set to a nice low speed, if I rotate the wind sensor there we go we heard the, the unit switch there so if we now go back we'll see the active light is on so we'll just wait a few seconds and there it goes off again okay so so if I just rotate that again hopefully you'll hear the, the relay activate there it is Again, active light is on. Now off again. Right. So the the lid of the, the control box you see is a clear one with a with a rubber gasket, so that'll obviously keep out any moisture. And then obviously at the front of the control box we have three PG7 cable glands. Okay, and the, the supplied of the AC adapter is 24 volts AC. Obviously, if that's not required, then let us know in advance and we can leave that out for you. Okay, so that's a, a brief introductional video for the, for the instrument weather system as wind switch. Obviously, we'll any need any further details, then feel free to give us a shout.